Already this year, we have had a good number of strong storms, many that have flooded streets, some flooded homes. We are no stranger to the issues of flooding in the Houston area, and a new statewide flood plan shows just how many people are susceptible to it. Yep, TJ Parker is live in the Champion Forest area, an area that did see flooding yesterday. So, TJ, we know flooding is a problem, but how many people is the state saying are actually impacted or affected? So, Amy and Haley, this is the state's first ever flood plan, and according to them, they say 5 million people or one in six Texans live in these uh, flood prone areas, live or work in these flood prone areas. And yes, we were here in Champion Forest yesterday, and you see it is dry now, but when we were here yesterday, this area behind me here was flooded, and anytime it rains, you know uh, there are several areas across Houston that flood. Our Bill Barajas was actually here talking with neighbors as this was happening yesterday, and the, that storm that came Came through caused some of that flooding. The plan, which came out early this month, estimates that close to 1.3 million Texas homes are in flood prone areas. So the Texas Water Development Board came up with the plan and says it's an effort to reduce the risk for those people in those flood prone areas by coming up with solutions to safeguard Texas against more floods and rising sea levels. There are several ideas to help with the flooding. Some of the recommendations include flood mitigation projects, which could cost up to $49 billion but more than half would go towards the Ike Dyke project, which is that coastal barrier that would help protect our region from storm surge during hurricanes. Another recommendation is a flood early warning system, which could help let people know when to evacuate. Now, the plan is several years in the making. The board was required to come up with a plan in response to Hurricane Harvey, and the public can also make public comments, by the way, in Austin on May 30th, and can also submit comments online uh, up to June 17th. The board will then have to a plan delivered to the state legislature by September 1st. Guys, we'll send it back to you. All right, important dates for people who want to chime in. Thanks so much, TJ.